Okay guys, welcome. Um, so I'm gonna run you through the Precision Nutrition Macro Calculator. Uh, this is what I've put up on the Facebook group. Um, if you didn't see the link, you can just Google Precision Nutrition Calculator and it'll be at the top there. So this is a really handy tool to just give you a little bit more guidance with what you wanna be eating, uh, depending on what your goals are and where you're at right now. So when you click on that, it's gonna take you to this page. If you, some really handy information. So take the time to go through this properly so it sinks in and it's gonna increase the likelihood that you're gonna have a bit of success with this. Um, and then when you're ready, just click get started. Now, again, I use this tool uh, for myself and for a lot of the people that I work with. Um, so today, obviously, you're just gonna click myself. You need to punch in a little bit of information about you. So you should know your age, you should hopefully know your gender and your height. Just make sure you switch it to uh, metric so that our information's accurate. Uh, how much are we right now? 83. So again, this is really important information to know what your starting point is so that um, you know we've got accurate information to work with. So if you can check it just before doing it, do so. Otherwise, just go to as, as close as possible. Now, when you get to this stage, it's gonna ask you what your goal is. Again, really important if it's gonna tell us what we should be eating. Uh, you've got five options here, and if you're unsure of what any of these mean, so we've got lose weight, build muscle, athletic performance, body recomposition, or improve health. Now, if you're unsure of which one applies to you or what you wanna be leaning towards, there is a little information icon in the top right-hand corner. If you click that, it's gonna give you a little bit of an explanation of on what each one means. So, for today, I'm just gonna click on build muscle. It's gonna ask me, how much do I wanna weigh and by when? So, I'm gonna say, how much do I wanna weigh? Or one kilo of muscle gained by say six weeks time. You know, for the sake of this, let's say 1st of October. Right, so I want to weigh 84, which is one kilo gain of muscle by about six weeks. Now, really important that we have realistic expectations here as well. Um, for this example, muscle can only grow at a certain rate and that's if we give it the right stimulus and the right fuel and the right recovery. Um, if I was to punch in something like five kilos in six weeks, that's just a significant amount required to make that happen. And it's just not realistic. So the figures that it would punch out for me here uh, would not be possible for me to sustain or even attempt really. So um, certainly not in a healthy way. So have a think about you know, what is realistic for you at the moment understand that it's probably taking you a long time to, to get to wherever you are now and you need to give yourself time to build up and, and put these pieces into place. So the same goes with weight loss. Um, you know, if we're wanting to, to lose weight, if we do it too quickly, uh, our body can um, get a bit cranky with us and it tends to fight back a little bit when we go from zero to 100 too soon. Uh, so what this is all about is making sustainable change. So we can, we can get there bit by bit and that way it, it, we stay where we want to be. Now it's asking me what my preferred eating style is. Now obviously for me, I'm, I'm vegan, so I'm gonna click fully plant-based, um, but it has a couple options here too. Now again, I'm gonna stress that you stick with what you're already doing. Now that just means that it's more likely you're gonna be able to keep doing it. Now I, I wouldn't, Regardless what your goal is, say, you know, I'm trying to, to gain weight, I'm not going to go to a ketogenic diet now. Um, you know, that would just be too much changed, too much for me to handle, plus deal with all this other information. So for most of us, we're going to be clicking the top left one, which is eat pretty much anything. Um, but if you do, do uh, you know, subscribe to any of these diets, then by all means, uh, go for it and it'll give you a little bit more guidance. So for me, fully plant based, that's nice and easy. Now it's going to give me. Uh, oh, it's going to ask me what sort of ratio I want with my macros. So we're talking about yeah, your carbs, your protein, your fat. Now um, the ratio it's suggesting for me, which is just the standard one for uh, the fully plant-based um, diet, is about 30% protein, about 50% carb, and about 20% fat. I know you know I respond pretty well to carbs. It's not going to be a problem for me, um, and. Most of these options are pretty balanced, so you, you can give it a crack and you know, if you don't feel it's working, you can always come back through, redo this process and adjust them and see how that works for you. 
Um, if you know that that's not gonna work for you now, you just go customize. It'll give you a couple of options. Otherwise, you can just pick another one of your own as well and, and put in those um, ratios that you feel work best. But probably only to do that if you, you already know a fair bit about how this works and how it works for you. So let's just say I, I want it pretty balanced. Okay. How many meals do you eat a day? Again, this has to be what you guys are doing right now. So, you know, I don't want you to go from having two meals a day to feeling like this is asking you, so I'm gonna say eight. Um, it's not gonna be realistic. It's gonna mess up the data and really we're not gonna, get, gonna get, not gonna get anything from it. So for me, I'm having breakfast, lunch, dinner. Um, you know, they might be at different times, but it's three main meals a day. Now, really important, describe how active you are each day. Now, I'm in the fitness industry, um, as a trainer and gym manager, um, I'm very light. It's, I'm gonna be honest here, most of my work is done on a computer, I stand at a desk, I do walk around the gym periodically and put weights back, but not enough to say that I'm doing any significant amount of work purely in my, my employment. So um, this is, again, really important that you reflect properly and answer this accurately. Don't try and think that you've got to put in all this, you know, extra numbers. Um, no one else sees this. It's just purely for you. So I'm going to click very light and move on. And what describes your weekly workouts? Same thing. Be realistic. Be honest with it. Um, you know, you've got the options go from very light, which is almost no purple, purposeful exercise, to very intense, which is seven or more hours of you know, intentional exercise. Um, for myself, you know, I'm, I'm weight training three to four times a week, but they're not full hour sessions. Um, they are broken up sometimes, and then I'm adding in my, my cricket training as well. So really, I'm probably getting about four hours of work in. So I'm gonna click moderate for myself. Again, this is gonna be individual to you, and you need to answer this as accurate, accurately as you can. All right, so from here, um, you, your results are ready. You know, it's put all your information to the algorithm and it's gonna spit out some info for us. So you can have a quick scroll down, it's gonna give you a brief breakdown, but what you really wanna do is just click download, enter in your info, download now, and this will only take a second and then it's gonna give us an 18 page report, which is just amazing. Um, save that one, let's open it up. Okay, so, Based on everything you've just answered, this is what it's telling us is, is gonna be the way to go for us. So take the time, really read, I'm not gonna read this to you, um, it just won't sink in that way, so make your way through this. Um, to begin with here, so I really like this way of measuring how much food we wanna be having. So for myself, it's saying that I should be having five palm size portions of protein per day. It's easy for me to measure. You know, I, I, your hands attached to your body, it's not going anywhere. I can, you know, serve that up, make sure that goes on my plate, and tick that off as I go on my day. So, five palm size pro, uh, portions of protein. I'm having six to eight fist size portions of veggies. Again, that's a pretty easy one to hit for myself. Um, nine cupped handfuls of carbohydrates per day, um, which is, you know, you're saying three a meal pretty handy if I'm having three meals a day, and 11 thumb size portions of healthy fats per day. Now, on the right hand side of this, it's got some examples of what that might look like, and if we scroll down a little bit more, it's gonna give us some recipe examples on how that would fit. So, for myself, fully plant-based meals, three meals a day, um, you know, one breakfast option might be loaded avocado toast with uh, one or two palms of chickpeas, two or three fists of um, you know, mixed lettuce with some balsamic vinegar, uh, three slices of sprouted grain toast, um, again, this is a suggestion, and three or four thumbs of mashed avocado. So pretty easy to serve up, pretty easy to, to make a part of my day. Um, some of the recipes are a little bit Americanized, but for the most part, they'll be, you'll be pretty familiar with them. And this is just a guide. Like it's not giving you recipes that you need to follow every single day. You should be having a lot more than this. 
but it gives you an idea of, you know, it can look interesting. It doesn't have to be, you know, plain, plain food. <coughs> okay. Um, again, a little more information for you to go through. It's got some nice visuals on, on what those portions might look like on your plate as well. So have a good look through that. Um, and I just want to stop on this one here. So the daily portion tracking sheet, um, I think this is really handy. Good little bit of accountability and feedback for yourself. So with this one, again, it told me earlier that I needed to be having five palms of protein per day. And here on each day of the week, it's got five blue circles, which is color coded for protein. Um, they're ready for me to tick off as I consume them. This way I can keep track of what I've had and then at the end of the day or the week, I can look back and go, all right, well, shit, I'm not hitting my protein targets, but you know, I might be meeting my, my carbs and my fats really easily. So those are the adjustments I need to make to make sure I'm you know, doing this properly. So you know, print a couple of copies of that if that works for you or screenshot it. Um, it really, it's, it's yours to, to figure out how it works best for you. So again, a bit more info here. Now, I like this. So we've got a, a bit of a chart on some protein sources and um, protein, carbon, fat sources. Now, if at this point you're a little bit confused and you're not really sure how this is gonna look on your plate, um, this is gonna help bring a little bit more clarity to that. So what I like about PN is that they don't class things as black or white, it's not good or bad, it's a spectrum. Okay, there are things that are gonna be a little bit more better, or more better, um, more beneficial for us, and it's gonna be the things that we wanna be having a little bit less of. Now, obviously we wanna spend more time over here, but it's not the end of the world if we jump over here occasionally. So, in the eat more of common uh, column, we, we've got things like your, if you're a meat eater, you know, you're gonna have your lean meats, um, you know, plain Greek yogurt, and then for, more for myself, we've got you know, things like tempeh and lentils and beans. And then uh, in the eat less column, you're not going to have to question why these things are there. You've got your you know, highly processed foods such as you know, your chicken nuggets and your, your fried meats, all that sort of stuff. So work your way through those um, spectrums and give yourself some clarity. And from here, you can pretty much build a meal. You can you know, pick your protein, pick your carbohydrate and pick your fat. And from there, you can get creative with it. Look at how different cuisines might put those things together make it interesting, you know, you don't want to be having plain food, it's not enjoyable, you're not likely to stick to it. Um, and then with vegetables, uh, again, most people don't eat enough veggies. Um, probably myself is a little bit excluded from that, that's pretty much all I eat, but most of us don't. So they're encouraging you to get as much as you can in, and not just that, but to, to eat the rainbow, okay? We want as many different colors on your plate as possible when it comes to your veggies. That's gonna ensure we're getting all of those micronutrients that your body needs to stay healthy, uh, especially in these times where, you know, giving your immune system the best chance at, you know, functioning is always gonna be a good idea. So jump on there, again, have a bit of a play around. There's gonna be some, some that we don't like that's natural for everyone, but it's, you're gonna find stuff that are gonna to work together. Um, as an example of how I might build a meal from this is, you know, I really quite like um, you know, Asian cuisine, so stir fry is a nice easy one for me. You know, I can throw in my tofu as my protein source, lots of veggies, you know, have some rice or some noodles as a carbohydrate source, and the, the fats are thrown in there in your, your cooking oils and things like that. So it's pretty easy to build a, a full meal just by following that and then you know, following how some cuisines might do it. Um, and then as you scroll along, like we're down to page 15 now. Again, you've got some really handy information that you really do need to, to read and, and take your time and go through. Um, and it's got some frequently asked questions down here too. So um, mostly around, you know, what's, what's realistic and you know, hey, I'm not losing fat as fast as I thought. What, what, what happens here. So from here, like guys, this is it's just an incredible document to get for free that's really quite accurate and really, really helpful. So please take the time, go through it, do it properly. Um, 
read through all of that info and I'm sure most of your questions will be answered, but if you're still stuck, reach out to myself or Mitchell. Um, we'll be able to help you out with it as well and just point you in the right direction. But the aim here is not to give you a meal plan, it's to help you understand how these decisions are made and so that you can do them on the fly and, and get a really, really good result out of it. Uh, so yeah, jump on the PN calculator, um, let us know how you go and if you are feeling stuck at all, give us a shout. Thanks guys.